Hey. Today we're going to be reviewing the DD D3 microphone. So DD is a relatively new company in the audio world, and they actually started out making microphones for the popular lighting company known as Aperture. Now between the two versions of the DD D3 microphone, I will be reviewing the cheaper option of the two. DD also makes a pro version of this microphone, which retails for about $199, while the cheaper version retails for about $99. Now, unlike the D3 Pro, this microphone takes one AAA battery that lasts about 208 hours. So for $99, what do you get? Well, as you can see here in this unboxing, uh, it comes with a shock absorbent mount. There's also a nice foam cover with the logo on it. And it also comes with a smart TRRS cable. Now this microphone is definitely a great bang for a buck. It's actually the microphone I use in all my YouTube videos on this channel. All right, so now I'm just gonna show you guys some test footage I managed to get on my commute home from school one day. So as I was walking through the subway, I stumbled upon this musician by the name of Leo Zhang. And I thought, why not bust out the mic, record him? This could be a good example for you guys to show just how well this mic performs in a real world environment. You know, people have walked by, have no idea who they walk across. You know, all the people got, you know, sometimes, sometimes they get a big break, right? Mm -hmm. They go on to their own careers, but I, I've still come back here. So it's been a little while now, and yeah, all the footage you just saw was shot directly with the DD D3 microphone. Uh, I added no post processing whatsoever, just so you guys can get a good example and hear exactly what the microphone sounds like in a real world environment. Also keep in mind that this footage was shot in a busy subway station, uh, so although you might not be able to see it in the camera and the footage, there's actually a ton of people walking by me or behind me, so hopefully that can give you a good sense of the type of ambient sounds this mic is able to pick up. So I probably should have mentioned this back in the beginning of the video, but I'm actually not an audio guy whatsoever. I don't specialize in audio, uh, but I think that's exactly why I like this microphone so much because it's small, compact, and easy to use. 
Uh, it doesn't take that much for me to get good sounding audio from this microphone. So in terms of the way I set up this microphone, I typically just take the microphone and plug it straight into my Sony a6400 right here and set the audio level to about 6, 7, or 8 depending on the situation. And for shots like this with very controlled audio, I'll usually add just a little bit of post-processing just to make my voice sound that little bit better. All right, so that about does it for this video. Uh, if you're looking for a cheap, small, and versatile microphone, then the DD D3 microphone might just be for you. In my opinion, I think that this microphone is one of the best ones you can buy out there for around $100. And I do think that in most cases, this microphone does perform even better than some of the other microphones out there made by other popular audio brands such as Rode. So yeah, that's about all I got for you guys today. Uh, I hope you liked it. And I just recently finished with my semester at school, so I'm going to try to post some more videos now, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Don't subscribe unless you want to, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.